If there's anybody at all, or maybe you've been going here, and for whatever reason, man, I'm not 100% sure that I am saved. I'm not 100% sure. Let's make that this morning, okay? So I'm gonna ask everybody to bow your head, and uh, if that's you, I'm just gonna lead you in a little prayer. No reason to be embarrassed at all. Everybody here loves you. They're rooting for you. That's why they are here. That's why I'm here because we love folks who need Jesus. And if you are not 100% sure this morning that Jesus Christ is your savior, let's make this morning that time, okay? Dear Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. Please save me. I trust in you as my savior and only you. Write my name in that book because I wanna to go to heaven. And according to the word, I am now saved because whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Take whatever the enemy has tried to steal and give it all back to me, Lord. I give my life to you in Jesus' name. And then I saw this movie the other day that spoke to me so much. But first I want to say, how many people as Christians can say, I'm glad I'm saved, but boy, you can go through some stuff, don't you? You can go through some stuff. We got witnesses. Joseph was given a dream, and years and years later, before that dream even looked like it was about to come to pass, he found himself in prison, accused of something he didn't do by the main guy in charge of the whole nation that, at that time. And not once do I see where he ever complained. He still trusted God. And even in that prison, God gave him supernatural favor. But it was a prison, wasn't it? Yeah, he wanted to get to the palace. But he was faithful. And then look what happened exactly the way God said it. Okay? Have you ever seen that little meme they put on Facebook or wherever once in a while? Where they say, this is the life I thought it would have. And there's a few bumps in the road. And then you get to your destiny. But this is the life I really is not. <laughs> what in the world is going on? Let me tell you something, man. If you love the Lord and put him first, and I have a feeling everybody does here, you're right where you're supposed to be. Why does God have us to the Red Sea with every enemy chasing us? Because he's going to part it. Because he wants you to know he did that. Okay? And it didn't happen by the hand of man. So that's what you're going through, spiritual, mental, physical, financial. That's how God is. We don't know most of the time why he's doing what he's doing. But if you're walking with God, get encouraged by the scriptures, the stories of David and Joseph and all the great men of God and people in your real life. Because I'm telling you, he knows what he's doing. And he uses us, does he not, as a testimony to encourage others. Amen. Folks, I don't know about you. Remember that scripture that says we're here to come? It has the word comfort like 50 times. That's why I can't memorize it. It's just too many. <laughs> comfort these and other, comfort those people. And you're, we're going to comfort you because you're comforting comfort. Uh, all I know is I want to go to Best Buy and get a comforter. I don't know. What, what a, I mean, Bed Bath & Beyond, whatever. So, <laughs> But do you know something? I, I don't know about you, but I, I listen to a lot of good preachers that I like. A lot of them have a lot of money. Mega church, but some of them for their practicality. I listen just to a lot because, especially when you're going through stuff, you like to listen. But when I'm going through financial stuff, I want to hear from a person who went through financial stuff. When I lost, if you lost a loved one, a son or daughter, God forbid, I could come up to you and say, I'm so sorry, but you know what? The person who comes up and said, I, I also lost a son, that's who's going to come for you. When you're going through a divorce or separation, the person who's also gone through that and God brought them through. That's who you want to hear from. And so that's another reason. And I'm going to end you with this. That's another reason God brings us through stuff. Let me end you with this little, fun little <clears throat> story <clears throat> that I tell that illustrates this, okay? Man's walking down the street. He falls in a hole, deep hole. He can't get out. A priest walks by. He says, hey, Father, can you help me out here? The priest looks down and says, uh, here you go. Say some Hail Marys. <laughs> you get out. Next thing you know, the televangelist walks by. He says, hey, 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 hey. Hey, I'm down here. Can you help me get out of this hole? The televangelist looks down and says, okay, let me go on TV and try to raise money. See if we can get you out of there. <laughs> Next thing you know, his friend Bob walks by. <clears throat> he sees him. He says, hey, Bob, Bob, Bob. 
It's me, Mike. I'm down here in this hole, man. I can't get out. Can you help me out? Bob looks down there and goes, yeah, I'll help you out. And he jumps in the hole. <laughs> and Mike says, what in the world are you doing now? We're both stuck in this hole. And Bob says, yeah, but I've been here before and I know the way out. That's why you're going through what you're going through. Somebody's going to need help, and God will bring you through. He promises, okay?